Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your DIY automatic sanitizer dispenser. And as you can see, this is the setup, this is the sensor and when I keep, the moment I keep my hand, it dispenses the sanitizer. So let's get started. To make your own DIY automatic hand sanitizer, the materials you require is as follows. An empty jar, a DIY automatic hand sanitizer module. The link to buy this module is given in the description. A three to five volt submersible DC pump. A USB cable with a power adapter. Any phone power adapter will do. A tubing, double-sided tape, and a flathead screwdriver. To start off with, you take an empty jar and you poke two holes for the tubing and the wires respectively. You can use a tweezer or anything pointy to poke two holes. Next, we take the DC pump and we take the tubing and we attach the tubing to the hole of the DC pump where the water or any liquid will get pumped out. You attach the hole, make sure it's secure. Open the jar, put it, put the pump inside, and route the tubing and the wires through the two holes respectively. So, Once you get the wires out here, you then take the module. The module has two inputs and two outputs. The inputs are for the power and the output is for the motor. This part of the module is the sensor and this is the part that's going to sense the hand when it's close by. The module also has a potentiometer which you can adjust using a flathead screwdriver and adjust the time on how much the sanitizer gets dispensed. So for example, you can adjust it to dispense the sanitizer for just one second, or you can adjust it to uh, dispense the sanitizer for two or three seconds. So we're going to mount this on here and connect the motor wires to the two output terminals. Use the flathead screwdriver. Make sure the wires are tight and it doesn't come out. Next, we'll be attaching the power adapter. This is a regular USB cable and I have cut it to expose the two positive, the red, and the black wire. So the red wire will stand for 5 volts and the black wire means ground. You can, in fact, you can attach any 5 volt source. So this is just one example. I'm just going to take a normal USB that was lying around. I cut it and I exposed the red wire and the black wire. Now I'm going to tighten it. Make sure the polarity is right. So the ground goes on the bottom and the positive goes on the second top. Make sure it's secure. Looks like it's secure. Both the wires in both the input power wire and the output motor wires are secure. We secure the module onto the jar and we put the sensor in such a way that it faces the tube. So it detects the hand when the hand is close to the tube. Next, I take a 
power adapter. Put the USB brick onto the adapter and we'll see if it works. As you can see, the light has turned on and we hold it. You can hear the more pump spinning. This ensures that it works. Next, I will fill in the sanitizer. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use water. One tip is you can also take a pen cap, as you can see, and attach it to the tube to restrict the flow of the sanitizer. So you can just tighten it, make sure it's secure. Next, I connect the USB cable and power it on, power the device on. It's on. Now, just make sure the tube points down, downward. And if I bring my hand, I can see the sanitizer is dispensing. Now, you can control the flow of the sanitizer by adjusting the potential meter. So, I will change it. And let's see what happens. Thank you for watching this video and stay safe.